Hi guys, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. So today we are going to do block two or month two with four blocks, making one big block <laughs> of the four star generals revisited pattern. That is a sew along I am doing with T quilts. Um, so that's here on YouTube, by the way. Anyways, here is the pattern that we're doing. I gave all the information in video one about the sew along. I'm pretty sure by now being month two that there is no more patterns available. But if you do purchase this pattern on your own, um, on your own time, here is at least the directions to putting everything together. Um, I cannot give you measurements because I, I do not own the rights to this pattern. I can only show you how to put the blocks together. So we're doing the four star generals revisited and it is so long with T quilts and I am just showing you how to put the blocks together. So I hope you enjoy month two block two or blocks plural equaling one block of this wonderful pattern. So let's just get on started. Here we go. Okay, so for our four star generals revisited, we are going to work on month two's blocks. So we're making four blocks. Here are my fabrics for the four blocks. We have my what would be the light background. I am using black fabric. So I have my background fabric, my accent fabric, and my main fabric. So background, accent, and main fabric through all of this. And then here is the block without giving you guys the measurements. Look down here. We are making a friendship star. The B stands for background or black in my case. Um, I made sure to mark them all so I knew what was going where. Um, if you have the patterns, just cut out your pieces. I have all of mine pre-cut for all four blocks plus my stashing piece cut and ready to go. We are going to go ahead now and start assembling this. Now this block is the same thing over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull out my background and my accent color of all these straight ones right here. And I'm going to start just sewing these together and we're going to go to the machine and do that. And then we'll do the next step and the next step and so on and so forth. So let's get started with these first. Okay, so here we are at the machine. I just need to take two of these like this and we're going to, according to the directions, we're going to sew. I have my two accent colors. Each block has two accent colors. I think I uh, neglected to mention that. We're going to take the long background and the two accents and we're going to put these right sides together with a quarter inch seam. I'm going to line this top one up. And then the bottom, just make sure the whole strip is lined up nicely with my quarter inch seam. Then I'm going to come really close to it and I'm going to take my other background color because there's two background colors. And I am going to butt this up right next to that first one. So we're just going to butt these right up just like this. Should be literally right there touching each other just like that. So again, I'm going to take my my uh, background, which is my black, and my two accent colors. I don't know if you noticed that in the beginning when I started um, pulling these out. That's, <laughs> they were underneath, but there's two accent colors for this block. So I'm going to sew this one through. I'm going to stop, put this one right sides together on top, butting them up, lining up the end right here with my hand. And sew that one on through. And this time I actually am using black thread. So I will have one whole set of blocks that are done in white thread, which would be block month one. Um, because I forgot to change the thread color, but I figured for the rest of the quilt, I should use the black thread. That way, in case I have any seam pokies where they, you know, the thread pokes through the seam, that you're not going to see it very well because it's actually black. <laughs> 
You never know. Some of us have those little times where thread comes through the seam. And that's just because we use too big of a seam, a, 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 stitch, a, a stitch length. So it will pull it open and you can see the stitches. I, however, am using a stitch length of a two on here. Only because these will be getting subcut to the size according to the pattern. But for now, we do need to sew them together. Stop, put this one on. And they are all now sewn, so I am going to separate them. They are all exactly the same. The only difference in my four blocks is all of my uh, main fabrics are different colors, but all my accents are the same. So here are our sewn pieces, but I'm going to move the rest of this. Actually, I'm just going to move the rest of it over here like this, just right there. There we go. Here are my accents. Now I cannot give you the measurements, but we are going to subcut these to the number that it says in the pattern. And for this, I will put you in some and fast forward with some music just because I don't really want you to know the measurements that I'm cutting. But sometimes these kind of things are obvious. But I'm just going to, you know, put you in fast forward and get this done. Okay, so now all these pieces are nice little pretty pieces. What we're going to do now is we're going to press them. So I should have quite a few of each. And we're going to take these over and press real quick first towards the dark. And then we're going to create some four patches with one of each of the accents. So we're going to completely... You're only making four cuts from each of those strips of each color. So you have like this little, you know, leftover piece. Um, yeah, they over measured, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and press these first towards the black because everything I'm doing in this whole entire pattern, I am pressing towards the black for mine because they're dark. Um, we're going to go over, press these to the black, and then we're going to turn around and take them to the sewing machine and start making some four patches. So I'm not on my normal ironing board, but this will allow me to stay in the same spot the whole entire time. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll these back towards the black, just holding them nicely and just rolling it back nice and flat, just like this. And right now I'm just going to go ahead and throw you in fast forward with some music while I complete this step. Okay, so now we're going to turn these into four patches. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to have one on one side, one on the other, and I'm going to turn this one upside down. That way they all go exactly in the same. So we're going to make four patches. What we're going to do is put these right sides together, and since they are pressed towards the black, both the seams, oh, where we are, right there, 
should be going in opposite directions. The pieces should be exactly the same size. They were cut exactly the same size. All right, and we're gonna just take and line them up right here. And I am going to just sew a quarter inch seam right on through. So again, one, put the other one on top. Oops, right sides together. And nest them up. And hold it down and sew it through. They're so small that you don't need a pin to hold these down. I mean, you can if you really want to, but you don't need to. Just hold it with your finger, just like this. Hold it down and run it through. Oops, this one did not catch all the way. There we go, lay it down. So for the rest of sewing all these together, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this and fast forward. They are all sewn, nice, lovely four patches, and I just pressed them whatever way I pressed them. So what we need to do next, once they are done, is make half square triangles. So here are the other pieces that we're gonna need. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of the main fabric and two of the accent fabric according to the cuts, and we're gonna turn these into half square triangles. So we're gonna be sewing on both sides of a line. I'm going to go ahead and separate all of my little guys. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put these right sides together, but before I sew, I'm actually gonna draw a line corner to corner on every single one of my main fabrics. So that would be all of these. I'm gonna draw a line from corner to corner on all of my main fabric. So I'm gonna just put you in fast forward while I do that. All right, we're at the machine. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our um, background fabric or your light fabric and a um, main fabric piece right sides together they should be exactly the same size if you cut them accurately and we're now going to take we just drew that line we're going to sew a quarter inch on this side line and a quarter inch on this side of line we are doing two half square triangles off of this one piece so what I like to do to speed up the time is I am going to sew this side of the line on every single one of these pieces. And once I do, I'm gonna flip it around and do the other side. So I'm gonna put the music on and put you in fast forward for a second while I do this side. So now that I have sewn all that one side, all I'm gonna do 
is bring this whole thing around like this. Give it a little slack and go to the opposite side, just like this. I turn the whole thing around. Now, all I have to do is sew the opposite side of all of these. And I shouldn't get anything out of order because they're all hooked together. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward the rest of this. Okay, so these are done. I'm gonna move those out of the way and we're gonna move these out of the way. What we're gonna do, oops, I didn't mean to hit the camera, um, is we're gonna split these apart and then we have to trim them down. So I'm gonna start by, let's just grab a smaller one of these. I'm gonna start by trimming them in half, just like this. Just gonna do that and fast forward. Okay, now all of our pieces are trimmed and pressed. Sorry I couldn't give you the measurements, but again, this is not my pattern, and I keep bumping the camera today. All right, so first things first, let's make some blocks. We just need to lay these out. So we're going to move this all to the side like that. We're going to bring these down, and we're going to bring this down. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to put this right here, I'm gonna find its matching color, and I am gonna go ahead and lay these on here according to my diagram, which you now have a diagram because I am making one for you just by laying them out. So those are gonna go like that. And then where am I at? Oh, we're on this. So we want the lighter accent in and the darker one out according to my diagram, but you don't actually have to put it that way. All right, so we're just gonna lay these like this and one more like that. So there is the layout. Obviously they don't lay super duper flat, but there is one so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay the rest out because I'm gonna go ahead and sew them all together in like a chain piecing method. So I'm just going to put this guy down now and we're going to grab this guy and we're going to lay all those exactly on there just like this. And I'm going to lay them all down and then I'm going to repeat on the outer side. So I need four of these with my light facing in just like this, like that. Okay. Let me bring this a little bit closer. 
seems like I'm like reaching too far. All right, so now let's grab another one. So we're gonna do this one right here. Stick that in the middle. I'm gonna put these all the way around it, my little half square triangles, just like this. And I'm hoping I'm not confusing anyone. This is just me stacking them all up so that I can sew them all at the same exact time. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and just throw this one on here now and really confuse everybody by, <laughs> by stacking them with that there like that there and right there and all i need to do now is add two of these per stack just like this one oops two and this last one will go right here and there so now i'm going to take all this over to the sewing machine and i'm going to chain piece each section then chain piece each section and chain piece each section until the whole entire thing is put together four blocks and one of four all over and over again so let's go over to the machine and i'll show you what i'm doing here we are at the machine so i just put all this up here and so i could show you how i do this so i am going to repeat the steps over and over until all of them are together so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these first two right here i'm going to put them right sides together i'm not going to turn or move anything we're going to build these blocks by having one big giant stack so i'm going to sew my quarter inch seam i'm actually going to grab the next two down oops just like this and i'm going to put those right sides together and run them through then I'm going to grab the third stack down here, right sides together, and they should be exactly the same size if you followed your pattern accordingly. Right sides together, sew them through. Now I have done all three from that row, so now we're going to repeat. Grab the top, right sides together, grab the second one sides together and the third one right sides together just like this again they should be exactly the right size now we're going to repeat that step again and i'm going to go ahead and just move these guys over to this side so they're not in my way so that you can see these so we're going to again take these two they're sticking together right there right sides together i didn't move or adjust anything this is the same thing i do pretty much when i do my 25 patch blocks except i'm doing it with multiple blocks instead of just one so i'm going to run that through and then i'm going to take this last piece and run that through Last time, top one. Middle. Bottom. Just like this. And now, we're going to break thread, but keep everything together. Remember, you just moved this into the throat space, these pieces. What I'm gonna do is come straight to the top, my starting piece. I am gonna open it up, and I'm just gonna finger press it towards the inside. I'm gonna grab the top piece that's in my throat space, the top piece, and I'm gonna put that right sides together, just like this. And I'm gonna run that through. Here's my middle one. Actually, I'm gonna press this towards the four patch, I think, just like this. There we go. It doesn't say in the directions which way to press, I don't think. I'm gonna press this one in towards the flat block. We're gonna grab that middle piece. I know you can't see it because in my throat space. But I wanted them at my right hand. So let's just tip you. There we go. That's better. Now you can see where I'm really grabbing from. 
So now here's the third one. This is the third piece, but before I do so, I'm going to finger press towards my four patch. I'm going to grab this bottom four patch and I'm going to sew it on. Then I'm going to grab this guy again, finger pressing it towards the four patch, except now I'm back to the top again. So I'm going to grab the top. It's in sets of three. For this one, it's in sets of three. Or for any nine patch, you would be doing everything in sets of three. Now I'm going to grab the middle, put that on, right sides together. Grab the bottom. Again, pressing it towards the four patch. Grab my bottom piece from in my throat space. And put this on here, just like this. Again, now I'm starting at the top again. So, because I just did three. So, we're going to grab that top four patch and we're going to stick this on, right sides together, just like that. I'm going to finger press the middle one now towards the middle. We're going to grab that middle piece. You know it's the correct one because it, it's in that order. If I would have put this up here, it would have been totally wrong because it would have been two half square triangles next to each other. And you automatically know when that is wrong. And now at the bottom one, again, I'm just going to grab my four patch, put it in there just like this. Now I'm starting at the top again. This is my last three pieces. So I finger press that. We're going to grab that top one. I'm going to put it in. There are a couple blocks that I've done that I can't do this to, but nine patches, it works quite well. Um, but there have been a couple other ones that we can't chain piece like this. And last but not least, my final four patch obviously goes right here. Again, my one light accent goes up, at least the one I chose. You can chose whatever, but I'm making sure that all my certain accents are facing in the same direction. Now, here's the fun part. All you have to do is start pressing these seams. So I'm just going to go four, towards the four patch, towards the center, towards the four patch, towards the center, all the way down. But when I get to these, I've got three of them done. I'm going to snip oops, those apart. And now this one's ready to be sewn. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that over into my throat space for now. Then I'm going to do the next three. So to the um, pressing these right, left, right, or towards the four patch, towards the center, towards the four patch. Here again is three more. They're correct, haven't been turned or moved. Same thing. It's really easy because this is just four blocks that we're doing pretty quickly. Um, so there's three there. Snip them apart. Nothing is out of order. You can see we stitched them together wonderfully. And then the last one. So it'd be toward the center, towards the four patch, like this. And those last ones are together. So now we just need to right sides together, just like this. And you can do them all chain piecing as well if you're trying to get this done um, quickly, like I am for making a video. I don't want a very long video. That's why I'm doing this for you guys. But you're pretty much getting the gist of how to put each block together. So there's one. We're just going to go ahead and chain piece these through. So here's my next. Just going to stick one side to the middle. Everything's finger pressed. At the end, I will press each block individually, making sure that my seams stay down. And then I adjust this last one, just like this. Everything's nested together. Quarter inch seam. Let's grab the next block. Again, it's all correct. Nothing got moved or out of order. Just going to nest my seams so they're on opposite sides. Just like that. Start sewing it through. Once I get to the seam, I nest the rest of it up just like this now for that last and final one again right sides together line up that end 
I stop when I get into my seam and then nest up the rest. Oops, this one kind of moved on me. Just like that. Now all I have to do while they're hooked together is turn the whole thing around, open it up, just give it a little finger mush for now, put these ones on right sides together on the sides. And that way I have made all my blocks at the same exact time, saving time from doing them one at a time. It really helps if you cut them all out in advance. Um, you know, cut all your pieces out in advance, not just one block at a time's worth when you're following patterns like this, especially for sew-alongs. Just cut all your blocks and then put them together. So see, they go together beautifully. I have plenty of room between my chain piecing, but if you wanted, you can snip that apart, you know, and adjust this one and start over. Um, whatever works for you, but this method helps. And I'll probably do it through the rest of this series. I just, usually I don't in videos because I like to show you every step, but I don't, I didn't miss a step and I'm showing you how to efficiently finish your blocks. So again, if you want to just leave them together like this, it's perfectly fine. So I'm just going to kind of smush it out of the way for now. The iron will take care of the rest. Right sides together. Again, it's hooked still, but you don't have to have it hooked. You can disconnect that if you wanted to because you're still chain piecing. So I'm just going to stop team, line the rest of the block up, nest that middle. And last and final block, everything's correct. I'm just going to mush my seam, that right sides together. We have one more step after pressing these. So I'm just going to line this up, start sewing it. Sometimes I have to realign because my finger was in the way or something weird. So I'm going to line this bottom now, nest my seam. And all now I have to do is snip them apart, just like that. And look at that. I have made four blocks. Um, before I go to the iron, I'm, be, I'm just going to be like, hey, are they correct? And look at this. They are. They all make a friendship star perfectly, beautifully. Let's press and then I'll meet you back at the cutting board. four blocks right here. They should be the accurate size. There's no reason why they should not be the size that the pattern says they should be. If you follow the directions correctly, they should end up the size it says they should end up. So now the only thing left to do is put some sashing in. So we're going to take my sashing piece and we are going to cut it because I didn't pre-cut these. We're gonna cut it the size we need it to be, and then we're gonna attach one here and one here, and then a whole long piece right down the center here. So I'm gonna do some cutting and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna sew my sashing in here and in here. But first I want my blocks laid a certain way. I think I want These I'm going to consider darker, and these I'm going to consider lighter. I think I'm going to sew them together like that. I'm looking on the camera to make sure. Yeah, I like it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this to that, and this to that, and then do these bottom ones, and then do this. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and put you in fast forward while I do this. And here is my finished block. So it's actually four blocks making one big block. So four little blocks make one big block. As you can see, I kind of showed you that we line this up. In the first video, I show you a better instruction on that. But I kind of just showed you that I roll this back and lay it on there to line it up. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and then, yeah. The only thing I need now to do is pick away any threads that this picks up because we are in a quilty room and there's thread everywhere. So there's our block. It measures the way it is supposed to measure. There's, there's absolutely no reason why yours should not. Follow the pattern, keep with the instruction, and this is what you should get, a nice lovely block. So let me show you blocks, blocks one and two from month one and two. Okay, here we have my Month one, I showed you how to make, and here is month two. There they are in their full glory. You can see that I am playing with a lot of color here, and that's not even the start of it. So it's going to get a lot funner as I make my blocks with lots and lots of colorways. But there we have it. So the far four star general revisited. <laughs> um, this is block two, month two, and stick around because the 21st of every month, I will be posting the next one. And then when I get to the 13th month, I will start on the pieced border. And by the 14th month, we will put the whole thing together. So stick around for that. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.